Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this story. I'm going to try and upload a new story each day. The Ephemeral Elegy of Evanite Abbey The mist clung to the Isle of Wight like a shroud as Holly, a talented musician seeking inspiration, arrived at the desolate Evanite Abbey. The once grand structure stood as a haunting silhouette against the moonlit sky, its crumbling stones whispering tales of a forgotten era. Drawn by an otherworldly force, Holly found a weathered parchment at the abbey's entrance. Unfurling the parchment revealed a musical score as notes intricately written in an ancient script. The title at the top read The Ephemeral Elegy of Evernight Abbey. Intrigued, Holly felt an eerie compulsion to play the haunting melody. As the first notes echoed through the abandoned halls, a spectral mist materialized, swelling around Holly like a phantom dance. Shadows whispered through the air, and the ethereal melody grew louder. Each note seemed to awaken the spirits that lingered within the abbey. The first movement emerged a sorrowful apparition, draped in tattered robes, weeping in the moonlit nave. Its mournful wails harmonized with Holly's music, a manifestation of the tragic past that hung over Evernight Abbey like a curse. Moving deeper into the composition, Holly played the second movement. A ghastly figure materialized, wielding a phantom violin. The spirit's skeletal fingers danced over the strings, creating a chilling harmony that resonated through the ancient halls. The ghostly musician seemed to be locked in eternal anguish, forever playing a melancholic refrain. The third movement brought forth a ghostly choir, their voices echoing through the abbey's cavernous chambers. Each spectral voice told a tale of betrayal and loss, adding layers of haunting beauty to the unfolding symphony. Holly, now caught in a trance, played on, unable to resist the power of the mysterious score. With the fourth movement the atmosphere grew heavier, and the temperature plummeted. A ghostly conductor appeared, leading an unseen orchestra of spectral instruments. The air resonated with the chilling sounds of phantom strings and ghostly winds, and Holly felt an otherworldly presence guiding her hand across the keys. As the final notes of the fifth movement echoed through the abbey, a dark figure materialized in the center of the nave. The ghostly conductor, now revealed in all its malevolent glory, turned towards Holly. Its eyes, devoid of warmth, locked onto hers. The spirits, having completed their tragic symphony, converged around Holly. The air pulsated with another worldly energy as the apparitions merged into a swirling vortex of mist. The entire abbey seemed to tremble with supernatural force. Holly, realizing the perilous nature of her situation, desperately tried to halt the haunting melody, but the score had a grip on her that could not be broken. The ghostly conductor extended a spectral hand toward her, and Holly felt herself being drawn into the vortex. In an instant, the mist enveloped Holly, and the world around her blurred into darkness. The ephemeral elegy of Evernight Abbey had claimed its latest victim, trapping Holly's essence within the haunted melody, destined to join the ghostly symphony that echoed through the forsaken halls for all eternity. Within the swirling abyss, Holly's consciousness melded with the haunting melody, becoming an integral part of the spectral ensemble. Her essence intertwined with the ethereal notes, and she found herself reliving the tragic tales of the spirits that haunted Evernight Abbey. As Holly became one with the ghostly symphony, she experienced the pain and sorrow of each spirit in vivid detail. The first movement's weeping figure shed its tale of a love lost in a time of war, its grief echoing through the corridors of Holly's mind. The second movement's phantom violinist revealed a life cut short by betrayal, the echoes of deceit resonating in each spectral note. The third movement's ghostly choir unveiled a tale of treachery within the abbey's walls, where trust was shattered and alliances crumbled. Holly felt the weight of their collective sorrow, a burden that threatened to consume her newfound spectral existence. The fourth movement's dark conductor, now a malevolent guide within Holly's consciousness, led her through the twisted corridors of its own tragic history. A tale of ambition and greed unfolded, with echoes of power-hungry decisions reverberating through the ghostly orchestra. As the symphony reached its climax, the fifth movement, Holly found herself standing in the heart of Evernight Abbey once more. The spectral vortex, now an intricate dance of mist and shadows, surrounded her. The ghostly figures swirled around, their mournful faces fixated on her. The dark conductor, its eyes piercing through the mist, spoke in a haunting chorus formed by the collective voices of the trapped spirits. 
You are now part of the ephemeral elegy, bound to the symphony that echoes through these forsaken halls. Your existence is intertwined with ours, and together we shall play for all eternity. Harley, her own voice now harmonizing with the ghostly choir, tried to resist the inexorable pull of the spectral symphony. Yet the power of the haunting melody held her captive, and she became a willing participant in the tragic dance of the afterlife. Ebony Abbey, now a perpetual stage for the ghostly orchestra, resonated with the sounds of sorrow and despair. The haunting melody continued to weave its ethereal tale, drawing unsuspecting wanderers to the forsaken abbey, only to ensnare them within its ghostly grasp. As the mist settled over the Isle of Wight, Evanite Abbey stood as a silent mausoleum of lost souls, its walls echoing with the timeless strains of the ephemeral elegy, a tragic symphony that transcended the boundaries between the living and the dead. And within its spectral embrace, Holly played on, her music forever entwined with the haunting melodies that reverberated through the endless corridors of the Abbey, a symphony of sorrow that echoed into eternity. Thank you for listening, I hope you enjoyed this story. Please don't forget to like and even better like and subscribe. Thank you very much and I hope you have had or have a great day.